So if you want to see me install this 45 minute quick install door in about two and a half hours, keep watching. Installing an Anderson full view screen door. There. Let's see how this goes. 45 minute install time. I doubt that. All right. There it is. There's the screen. Remove clip. This is the screen. I guess we gotta remove. Press down. Press down. Ah, okay. Removed. Screens in the hallway. Eh, they didn't do a good job cutting off the edges of this screen, but maybe it's a lower grade Anderson. Okay, we leave that in the hallway so we don't step on it. There's the door in the frame. Remove clip. Push back. And there it goes. Comes out. Now what? Alright. Now we gotta remove the glass. It says to put your hand underneath the door and push up. So I can't do that with two with one hand. Well, I probably can, but I don't want to break the glass, so I'll be right back. Glass screen in the hallway. Make sure no kids are here to break them. These trim pieces were underneath the door. The frame's pretty light. And here we are. Installation kit. We gotta open this. Looks like dynamite. Screws. Bracket. I guess this goes with that. More screws. More screws. And another bracket. And some instructions. Alright. Oh, they almost caught me. For right hand installation, go to page 10. I'm on page four. Which you must move. All right, you'll live over here for a while. I think I wanna put some silicone around here before I continue. It looks like it's gonna mount to the outside of this. So I won't have access to this later. So I'm just gonna run a bead down here on both sides. And that's it. Cork done. All around. Use 1 8 drill bit from closer kit. Closer kit. It's in there. Trying to hide, but I see you. All right, so it's actually been about 20 minutes, but I won't, I'm not talking much in this video, but I just want to explain something. So the proper way to install the door, they're saying is for this to touch the bottom of the door sill and for this to touch the bottom of the door sill. But as you can see, if I take this styrofoam, you can see what I mean. If that happens, look at the gap I'm gonna have on the bottom. The weather, I don't know if you can see the weather stripping here. If you can see that. The weather stripping is so much higher than this. If I put this like this and it's touching the bottom, look at that gap. What is the point of that? So after about 20 minutes calling different Anderson numbers, I asked them if I could remove this clip and install it with this and this touching to bring the door down actually help with that gap a little bit. Since I'm using an Anderson entry door, 
and this is a slope it's actually sloping down I don't know if you can see how it slopes down I, I would ra much rather have um, a nice seal on the bottom which I might even need to install one of those stick-ons afterwards underneath here to actually seal it because for me I want to actually keep bugs out and you know not leave a a gap on the bottom of my door for everything to crawl into my house so I'm take I'm gonna remove this clip and install the door that way okay to show you what I mean okay first drill two holes right here and right here as the instructions say to hold the frame um, don't drill too deep into your frame and use a screwdriver when you're putting those screws in so you don't strip out the hole. You don't want too much power. It's so soft wood. Look what happens here. I didn't even use that clip and look at it, it's raised. So this frame is touching my sill and this frame is touching my sill and the door's in the air. Now that's okay, but I might even put one of those stick-ons down in here because like I told you, I don't need nothing crawling in through that. That's the whole point of putting this door so I can get some fresh air, not unwanted guests. All right, drill the holes just on these rails. Not supposed to drill the top yet. These rails are all drilled out, and they tell you to drill here, but you can't drill here because of this clip. And you can't drill here because of this clip. Now, push a screwdriver through here and pop these clips out that were on the back you were over here you pop these on it says to grab the door and pull it let's see how this works let's move this and grab the door and pull oh, that didn't work too well something is grabbing here Push these down. I think they clipped in. There we go. You gotta clip them out. You gotta bend them back towards you and clip them out. A little difficult to do with one hand. All right, I'll be back. Victory. All right, these clips, when they're closed, grab it really hard like this and pull it back. And that's how it unclips from the back of the frame. And it'll open. Without the glass, this is pretty uh, pretty light frame. I guess because it's aluminum. All right, on to the next step. All right, finish drilling out those extra holes there. As you can see, all the screws are in. I'm gonna stress this. Um, this brick molding that I have around the edge, I, I really suggest you don't drill too deep. This drill bit that they provide, is pretty big now if you see the screws that you're supposed to use make sure you don't mess this up look at that screw behind that drill bit it's almost the same size so do yourself a favor drill only about this much into the door frame and do the rest by hand so you can get some meat on that screw because this drill bit is way too big for these screws you'll just you'll make a hole You'll put the screw in and it's gonna come right up. So just use this as a pilot hole. Go in about half the size of the screw. Go in right about there, that's it, that's it. And then do, you do the rest by hand. Let it go in, the rest by hand. At least you can get some meat on that screw. So without using that clip, the door is opening and closing. Doesn't seem like there's any issue. Next step apparently is take out these. Unscrew these, top and bottom, unscrew these, and I'll be back. Rain cap extender. If you're, if the top of your door does not allow you to screw into the frame because the actual storm door frame is too low and you're catching air over here, what you would do is take this rain cap extender Place it on top and drill out these three holes 
and insert the screws and it'll hold the top of the frame in place. In the instructions it says to put a, uh, a plug in here. I don't see a plug, so just to let you know. Now we install the handle. Okay, this will be fun. Pretty self-explanatory. Put the handle, it's almost like a, it's almost like a lock and a key, right? Kind of face the handle down and then spin it up and it actually locks into place. I don't know if you can see that. It locks into place. So do that to both handles. to the interior one lock it up and that's ready also before installing the handle don't forget to remove the film there's a film that runs up and down here don't forget to take it off I showed you how to lock in the, uh, the handle to the plate. When you install this, make sure the handles are pointing up, connect them together, and then push them down. They kind of lock into place. Immediately, well, I put the plate on too. Short screw on the top, long screw on the bottom through the lock. The lock's kind of like, kind of cheap. I don't know, you kind of see how it like, and then if you like, right there it stops, and then if you force it, it keeps clicking, I don't know that's supposed to do that but anyway immediately once I put the lock on I try to close the door and it pops open immediately so what I had to do was I've loosened all the screws again along the edge and if you see here I have to push I don't know if you could see that I don't know if you could see this but I'm gonna have to push the frame push the frame in this way and then tighten down those screws because the only thing this is attaching to is this lip right here. Okay, and this is why we watch these videos. So then you could see me mess up so you won't have to. All right, once I installed the lock, I told you about these screws, I loosened them. I tried to push the frame in, it didn't work. What was going on is when I installed this, and if you remember, I removed the clip that was on the bottom of this door here. I guess that clip kind of braced the bottom of the sill plate. This frame had kind of, since it's setting, since I set it down in the bottom, it kinked this frame out. So what was happening is this latch would not reach to grab this tongue here. As you see now, how much it grabs it, watch this. See how much it grabs it? So what happened is, luckily, I had centered the door. I had enough meat where I removed all of these screws. I pulled the frame a little bit and re-drilled all of these holes. And luckily, I had enough room to do that. So when you're installing the door, make sure this frame has an even gap all the way down. If you see my finger here, how much it could go in. Make sure that gap is the same all the way down before you drill these holes out. This frame is solid, straight, right? It has the hinges. You're not gonna have that problem. So on this side, when you're drilling this, make sure this frame is tucked in. Make sure it's tucked in when you're screwing these in. All right, and another thing I read. I took off that clip to make sure this, this, uh, door sweep actually gets as low as possible but there's actually adjustment screws on each side for this door sweep till it drops down even more so I took the clip out for that reason to get the door to, to sit lower um, so I don't mind but um, be aware of that that you can adjust the door sweep by these two screws so apparently this door uses two closers I didn't realize that I thought it was just one for the top and the bottom but anyway um, it says to line up with this line to use to line up this bracket. So um, roughly there, it says touch the frame, get as close as possible, and then use the two back screws to drill into the frame. And then this piece, if you see it has a hook at the edge, 
it goes down and it locks in locks in there and then you use the last hole to attach that to the frame so you you know two screws lock it in place this back in and then put that last screw and then attach the bar so I'm gonna do that now all right coming along just install the trim pieces um, there's these plastic pieces that go all the way around cover the screws put one end in and bend it into the other groove and run your finger along the bottom make sure you put like a napkin or something on your hand because uh, if the plastic sharp you can cut you and just run it all the way down it covers the screws gives it a clean look um, let me tell you I installed these things here one on the top one on the bottom this you're gonna need a drill for these screws so it's a bracket it's a bracket with three holes you use the two back screws to drill into the frame and then like I showed you earlier this hooks in and then there's the last screw that you can see it there screws the bracket into this stabilizing bracket these screws are like two inches long my god and uh and put some lubricant on those screws because they're really long and I guess it has to be sturdy for this thing. And what you do is you attach it here first. You pull it out and press the button or something like that so it could lock. And then what happens is you give a little tension on here. And, and then you use these to gauge it so there's always a bit of tension on here. You don't want it to be loose or else the door won't close. You want tension on constant. See that? There's gotta be tension constantly. And then what you do is you match these grooves that you used up here, you match them with these to make sure you have an even tension. And there's a screw on the front of these that adjusts and there's a knob on this one. All right, let's try this quick change system. Like I said, this is a 4,000 door I bought, 4,000 series. The 2000, 3000 series. I think the 3000 might have the quick change system, but this is the screen. So we'll try to do this with the screen because obviously the glass would be too heavy. So let's try this quick change system. So the way it works is there's a groove here that you put either the screen or the glass into. And what you do is you line up here with these knobs. So let's push this up and then this up like that. We put this, this is supposed to be like a two second job. Let's see. Yeah, gotta clear, gotta clear that thing on the bottom. Okay, how can we, can we do this? Yeah, okay. So it's in there. And then make sure it's in. And then we, that's it, screen's on. Not bad. Nice and sturdy. Ah, 45 minutes. I don't think so. Well, she's done. I put the trim pieces around, hide, hit all the screws, looks good. The uh, closer operates perfect. Right now the screen's on. I didn't put the glass on yet. I'll try that later. Um, the lock looks good. I will say, my final thoughts. Be careful with this part of the jam. Make sure that you tuck it before you drill the holes. So then this tongue could have something to latch onto. Um, another thing. The door does not open all the way anymore so you see that it stops right there so if you need a delivery or something like that and you need to open this all the way you're gonna have to take off these pins all right just take off the pins and then reconnect it after you're done it would be probably the best thing so you don't damage the door but uh it's supposed to be installed in 45 minutes anybody that knows me knows i'm anal so i like to take my time and make sure something's installed properly so it took me about two and a half hours you know, because I had a fiddle and I messed up. And a lot of the stuff that I messed up on is actually in the instructions. You just got to read it. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up.